Peace and love, everybody. It's your girl, Eddie May, the Neo Soul Songstress. And you are live. We are live, baby. After yesterday's beautiful event. Give me a second, you guys. I just to make sure that the door is closed. Yes, because I like to do everything with the door closed. My daughter is sleeping at the moment. Yeah, but all the festivities and everything yesterday was just absolutely beautiful. What's up, Dave? How you doing? Hope you're doing all right. Um, yeah, yesterday was the August Wilson. If you guys didn't know, it was August Wilson. Um, it was August Wilson's birthday, and everybody, we had the best performers. They brought out the best food and vendors, and everybody was just there, and it was just so freaking awesome. Like, I ran into so, I was truly humbled yesterday because everybody was stopping me every five minutes, like, yo, I know you, you're always on that show for the love of music, and you know, all that stuff, you always do your talk show and interviewing folks, I'm always seeing your face, and it's different when people see you in person, but it really, really, it really touched my heart yesterday to know that so many of you support my show, and not just I love all of you. I just want to say I love all of my supporters. I will not hesitate to, you know, if you see me, I say speak to me. I, I don't I don't mind giving, I, I love giving hugs and saying hi to my supporters. I'm not one of those bitter people. What's, uh, what's up, Tico? What's up, Wisdom? Peace, peace, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure that you share this live. Let's share some positivity. If you support a sister, make sure you share this live. Share this live to your groups. Share it to whoever. Share it to your mama, your grandma, your auntie, all that. Because this, yeah. But um, as I was saying, the August Wilson Festival was absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful i had performed yesterday by myself and uh and ben blakey and a lot other you know wonderful 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 performers were on there excuse me i'm a little tug tied right now but yeah it was really it was beautiful just saying unity seeing unity in pittsburgh it was just beautiful hi sis how are you doing shout out to my sister hello hello cherish Hi, sis. Shout out to her and her waist speed line. Like, if you guys, you know, if guys, if you have a female and you like to, you know, I say she likes to wear the crop tops and everything, the waist speeds are absolutely beautiful and they're handmade. She has, she also makes like those with like crystals on them and beautiful jewels. Check her out right there. She's right there in the comments. Uh, cherish one more. Yes, yeah, her, her name of her company is GBO. That's good vibes only. So, yeah, I'll make sure I post something for my sister there. But, yes, yes, guys, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful event. It was awesome, absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, meeting so many artists and connected with so many people and everything. Unit, like, I, like I always say, I always try to express unity when it comes to music, when it comes to art and other things. I try, definitely try to express unity. Um, we are into May with our television, yeah, with our, I say our television, I say television show, we're, with the live show, we're into May right now. I'm on to my 34th episode right now. So, yeah, make sure you guys, you know, share the live, check us out on YouTube and everything, for the love of music. Make sure you guys check out us out on YouTube. And May is also Fibromyalgia Awareness Month. And the reason why I, yeah, hi mom, hi mom. <laughs> That's my mom with the flowers, uh, with the with the with the hearts and everything. Not with the flowers, with the hearts, with the hearts. Oh, uh, hello, hello, Sarabi. How are you? How are you, Queen? Forgive me if I butchered your name, but yeah, peace, Queen, peace. Hello, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Yes, it was, yeah, but it was a beautiful event. But yeah, um, yeah, May is Fibromyalgia Awareness Month. And uh, what I like to do 
at, you know, sometime this month is have an episode dedicated to, to those who are survivors and those who are, you know, those who are going through the same battle that I'm going through. And we try to spread awareness because fibromyalgia is a, is a, uh, is, is a condition of the autoimmune system and and of the nerves, the bones, and the muscles, and it's mainly chronic pain. And yeah, something that I myself go through, and that's you know. I, but I tell you this, it won't it won't stop my music. I don't let it stop my music. But you know, it's it's one of those things that we all have our crosses to bear, and that's one of my crosses that I you know that's one of my crosses that I bear. Like I tell you, if it wasn't for God, I would not be here in front of you right now so i just yeah spreading awareness to fibromyalgia so yeah make sure you you know look it up you know if you guys you know you have a family member or you know family members or friend with fibromyalgia just you know do your research do your research definitely definitely do your research and you know, it give them your support. If you know somebody who's going through chronic pain and everything, give them your love. Give them your support. You know, call them up and see how they're doing. You know, it's just little things. You don't have to. You ain't got to give them no money. Nothing. You just, you just call them up on the phone, and see how they're doing. You know, because it's also, it's not only a physical thing, but it's also, it's also a mental. You know, that also affects your mental. So. Yes, I'm gonna, you know, but enough about that. We're gonna get into, we're gonna get into the, uh, into that later on in this month. Um, I like to give a shout out right now. I say shout out to um, the King of Hype. His name is uh, Rich Music from DWC Radio. He's been playing, he made me his artist of the month. Shout out to him. Like shout out to him. Yeah, Rich Music. He like if or independent artists, if you have some music out there, like definitely push it towards him. Definitely push it towards him. He does a lot for independent artists and everything. And I like his vibe. Yeah, he's just straight, you know, he's just straight hype. And I love it. I love it. He's down in, you know, down in Georgia with DWC radio. So shout out to him. Every Thursday he goes live at uh nine o'clock and I tune in. But yeah, you know. So make sure you, it's all about support other people too. What's up, what's up, Dr. Fenda, what's up, man? How you doing, Anthony? Hello, everybody. Which is the, okay, yeah. Okay, oh, wishing you the best. Oh, bless up, man, bless up. I truly appreciate that. I really, truly do appreciate that so much. You just don't know. But um, yeah, we're gonna, we're going to be interviewing Rasta Bob today on the For the Love of Music talk show. And he is he is the band leader of the Truth Your Rights Band. And I have to say, first of all, let me say, I got to give a shout out to my brother, Lloyd Willisey. He plays with him. Is You know, Lloyd Willisey Cookie, he's the one who... He's the one who uh, played guitar and bass guitar on My Black is Beautiful. So big up to, to Cookie and to Truth or Rights and everybody. Shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. I have to make one of you. I'm sorry I couldn't make you guys this last show, but I'll make another. I will make one. Make sure that I make one this summer. I know that, you know, that, but we have some stuff in the near future we're going to be doing with them, you know, wisdom and and truth or rights and stuff, some some unity things we're gonna be doing. Yes, what's up, what's up? Dr. Finda, what's up with you? Hi, speaking of rich music, there he is right there. Yes, what's up, rich music? Yes, we, we were just talking about you, man. But yeah, make sure you check out rich music. I say, if you're an independent artist, like one thing about him is he believes in independent artists. Like he really shows love for independent artists like for real he'll take the time and listen to your music you know so big up big up to rich music love you baby all right uh, <laughs> all right y'all so yeah we're gonna man 
I'm reading the comments here. Peace and love to everybody. Everybody up in the freaking building. Okay, yes. Rastabov is the man right there. Yes, he is. Cookie? That's my bit. That's my boy, man. He be playing that guitar. He could go from Jimi Hendrix to BB King to, to the bass line and play a nice bass line for you. Oh, no, Scott Reggie, you go, you go, you go, baby, bless over here. <laughs> bless your heart, honey, bless your heart. Man, oh, man. So, yeah, Mike, so, so, um, also, what I'm, what I have coming up here, I said, I'm gonna talk about some of my events I have coming up. Um, we have an event coming up at, uh, the Millville Music Festival that is going to be May the 21st. And we're going to be at the Fun House at Mr. Small's. And that's going to be at 2.30, I believe. Yeah, 2.30. Yeah, 2.30, they said. Yep. I, I'm going to add, okay. He said he couldn't find the page. Hold on, we're going to have Rasta Bob in there. Wait a minute. I see he's trying to find, trying to find the live right now. We're going to help him out. We're going to help him out. We're going to help him out. Hold up. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're just, okay, I just invited him into the live. We're just going to wait for him to come through. Yes. Yeah, but the Bill Bell Music Festival, we're going to be there, and it's going to be dope. And I got a new backup band, and that's going to be dope. I have, you know, I say we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jam, man. We're really gonna jam. King of Hype Show, yes. You are the king, yes, the King of Hype Show. I told him about it every Thursday at 9, 9 p.m. I say, yeah. Oh, man. I just, I want to thank you, though. You made me the artist of the month. Make, it, make a sister feel special. Oh, shoot. Make a sister feel special. All right, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? All right, we get ready to add somebody. In, okay, I'm going to add my co-host into the live right now. He's going to be co-hosting with me, uh, Benjamin Blakey. All right. Yeah, well, I've got a co-host in there, y'all. That's right. We do guest co-hosts here. That's right. So, Rich, you know, whenever you got some free time, baby, you better hop on this one time. Okay, he said exclusive radio Saturday at 3 p.m. What's up? What's up? What's up, Byron Fisher? What's up, baby? What's happening? What's happening? What's, happening? what's going on? With Not much, man. Not much, man. I said we can rate, you know. I say we just was taught. I was just, you know, paying homage to some of these, some of the radio hosts that we have in the building. Rich all music. Right. Yeah, you gotta look, man. I told I told all my independent artists I said you gotta get with him because he been showing the sister mad love as far as playing, you know, black is beautiful. Like put really pushing it out there. I say I appreciate that. I said, Oh, as soon as they be reaching New York and all that. <laughs> he said it lacked energy. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm chilling like a villain. Man, how you like that festival yesterday? It was cool. It was cool. I had a good time out there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my old yes. Friends out there, just kicking it. Okay, what time yeah. let's see? We're gonna add our yeah, we're gonna add our guest in now. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add him in. Add our guest in. Rasta Bob, come on in, baby, from Truth and Rights. What's up? Hey. Peace. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what's up, what's up? So, yeah, you're welcome to For the Love of Music. Right, all right. And in May, we have our, you know, I said say hello to our uh, our uh, guest co-host here, uh, Myron Fisher. Hey, Myron. Hey. What's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah. I was just, you know, I was just telling them about you. I say, you know, I ain't make this show, but I'm going to make the next show y'all do. Because I am. Yeah, you know, I say, you know, Cookie, Cookie's my boy, man. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good, good. It's, it's lovely now. 
It was a little bit rough earlier, but it's yeah, that rain was. Whew, I'm out walking. That rain was rough. I'm out walking in the dog right now. Oh, okay, okay. You said you're walking a dog. Yeah. Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Peace and love to everybody in the mother freaking building. Make sure you that you share the live. Share this live, man, because we got somebody who's gonna bring the fire right now. Yeah, we bring the fire, the positive vibes. We bring the positive energy and everything. You know, you know. Yeah, so you're walking the dog there, okay. So we got a series of questions here that we gonna ask you, Rasta Bob. Okay. Yes, yes. So yes, he is here. Rasta Bob here is with the Truth and Rights Band, reggae band. I would add, yeah, Truth and Rights Band. So, okay, let's get into these questions here. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I say I'm gonna I'm gonna start it, you know, you can go you know, it'd be you know how we do, Myron. All right. Um, so, what what category would you put your music into? What type of artist are you? Art. What was that? Art. Oh, art! Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, why art? Can you explain? Give us a give us a give us a description of art. Art is free expression. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. You know, that's amazing. Places it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be expressed in anything, the expression of nature itself, you know? Mm hmm. Sweet. Sweet. What was that? Are you getting an echo on your end? No, I just, you know, I hear you pretty, you know, I hear you loud and clear. I said, ain't no echo. Okay. <laughs> all righty, all righty. So go ahead, yeah, go ahead, Byron, go on, yeah, go on, ask him a question. All right. Now, uh, how many genres of music do you play? I could be pretty fluent. I could genre but uh my, my band I'm play the bands that I, I have a rock band called cultivator and I have a reggae band okay all right sweet sweet okay okay you you give it you gave us some good answers damn man <laughs> Do it in the oh, I and see. Anyway, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna Ooh. have to leave. Okay. Good job to Stacy and Chaz. Okay. Alrighty. Peace, peace, peace. All okay. Right. All right. Yeah. So okay. Um. So okay. Let's see. Uh. What is the best advice that you have been given creatively? Next note. Mm -hmm. The next note. The next note makes a it make everything right. So no matter what it is that what it is that you play, mm -hmm. whatever you follow it up, uh, give it context. Mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's Miles Davis stuff. But person oh, that is, oh, I knew it sounded familiar. I'm like, where did I hear that from? From Miles. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. Make that, uh, that we keep on building, you know? Mm-hmm. One that came up the playing the bass with your son. Oh, I yeah. I, I think and you play. I thought it makes a different different sound. They mm -hmm. feel, feel, you know, 
Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, what does music mean to you? Think about. Oh, hey, um, they say it's a little choppy as far as on your side, as far as the sound. Correct. Wait a minute. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's a little. It's just a little bit choppy. Yeah, that's what. That's what. Uh, Doctor Fender was saying. Oh, he said, "What love, Ross?" Okay. Uh, yeah, but what again? Yeah, explain what music. Yeah, what music means to you? Music is my vacation. You know. Mhm. Mm but get into the music. It takes you to another place. Oh, yeah. It unifies people. Don't go out. It affects your physiology. You know, everybody hears things just a little bit different. You know, and it's because you don't play. No? Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unity, unity and music. That's beautiful, man. I love how music just brings everybody together, man. I say that's how it was yesterday. But um let's see here. Um if you could open if you could open a show for any artist, who would it be? Here or dead, you know, anybody, anybody. Artists. Uh, mm -hmm. here. I would love to for, for Joseph Hill culture. I would I, Okay. Straight over the spot though, you know? All right. Mm -hmm. We open for Ziggy, we open for Daggy, we open for Madison, we open for Lucci. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of good opportunity. So, yeah. yeah. Nelson, that's it. I'm going to have to, have to check that person out. Billy Nelson, if I have my choice, <laughs> we'd open for Yes! Yes! <laughs> Say so Willie Nelson, yes. Yeah. That is a good, that's an excellent answer. <laughs> Cause I love me some Willie Nelson too. <laughs> I just like his vibe, his vibe. I see he got a different type of vibe on stage. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Country man. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Which song do you believe is your best song? Your best song that you've done. That's just like your baby. Listen <laughs> to. Uh, there's another song I did with Jock Quest called Won't Get It. I've always loved that tune. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to. Are they on, are those, is that online? Uh, I think it's Spotify. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to check it out, too. I say, look, you gotta, I, look, I really do check out artists on there. I say, I would definitely check that out. You're going to have to send it to me. And I'm a, yeah, I'm a definitely, I'll definitely check it out. Oh, man. So what was your, like, creative process as far as, like, creating that song? Well, you just, uh, you might start off with the drum beat and just come up with whatever bass line, lay chords on top of that. And then sometimes mm -hmm. you might make a mistake 
and that production, you know? Yeah. It's off bark while you while you you leave that in the recording, you know? Mm-hmm. All different and ideas just you know. Mm-hmm. It's just to try to listen but to what's already there. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you try to find a natural flow. Part, you know? Yes. Kind of- yes. Yay. That's all. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a good way to, you know, that's a good way to start it there. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So, um, yeah. A lyric that, back with the rhythm. Mm hmm. Anybody can come up with it. somebody. Might, I was. I might. I might be in the middle of working on something. Somebody walks in the room and starts singing something to it. You know. Oh wow. First, sometimes some, some lyrics, and you just play what it sounds. The lyrics are play to the of the words and how to deliver it. Mm hmm. Okay. Dang, that's a, yeah, that's a good, yeah. That's a good process right there. That's a really good process right oh, there. Meditation involved. Got to sit back and listen. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. So you play track in your car, put kinds of speakers in different places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Yes, yes. I said, you are a heck of a bass player. <laughs> I must say, I say I've had, I've had the blessing to 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 freestyle to his bass. <laughs> yeah. Yes, good times, good times. What? Yeah, yeah. Um. So, um, have you ever, have you dealt with performance anxiety? If so, how do you deal with it? I usually take form and uh, hold on. I couldn't hear you right there. I say it got a little choppy right there. I'll usually take an app before I have to get myself to get okay. Try to construct energy because usually I have a carry as well. Mm-hmm. But even on, you just kind of, you know, just kind of try to gather your thoughts, be calm, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's a, yeah, that's a good, that's a very good way to put it right there. So, um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How did, how did COVID-19 affect your career? Like the pandemic and everything. Did it affect you? How did it affect your career? Hold on, you're, yeah, you're a little choppy right now, honey. Erica. It gave Women, us yeah. a needed. Yeah. Out of the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Engineering. It's a very creative time. Yeah. A lot there. Did a lot of with Ripper Shredders, of course. Mm hmm. So that was so good. At that. I thought it was a quiet time. Yeah. Yeah. You're right about that. I say it silenced a lot of things and it, you know, brought people together for a lot of things. Right. For, you know. Yeah, definitely. And it got us like using social media. It got us using social media more. I know that. <laughs> I, think, I, I hope. Mhm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way for to see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
So what made you want to start doing music? What made you want to, what made you start? My dad always in the playing piano. So music was all mm -hmm. my parents uh, every Saturday night, even though they go out dancing. With friends. So there's always that love. Of Oh, started play and uh, and then I found reggae music. And done so, done at that point. <laughs> <laughs> the some of the the older guys gave me bus break. The other gave me Rasta Man vibration. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Message is so mm -hmm. uh, the music, the mood, you know. Mm hmm. Yes. The way it makes you feel. All right. And peace of love to everybody who is tuning into the live. Feel free to, uh, Type in your questions in the comments. Yeah, this is For the Love of Music with Eddie May. And we got Rasta Bob right here from Truth and Rights. So yeah, go to write your well, go and write your questions in the comments, y'all. Don't be scared now. I don't bite. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but uh go ahead and put it. So um, what is your least favorite part about being a musician? <laughs> Business end up. Mm -hmm. Business end be, um, honestly, mm -hmm. the advertising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That to me is important. But the advertising, mm -hmm. I have love for that. <laughs> I learned out of necessity, but uh, I can't say that I have a love for, for that aspect. Okay, okay. Yeah, that does, that takes a lot of work. And those who are, you know, I say, shush, we know, we know. Hey, what's up, Sherelle? Peace and love to you. Peace and love to everybody in the comments. Like I said, it's, you know, if you want to type in your questions for Mr. Rasta Bob right here, man. Like, see, okay. Dr. Fenda said, I would love to, like to ask Bob about his most memorable show that he played and why. Most memorable well, show. Probably some more of those punk rock gigs are, are most memorable for me. You know, stuff that I did when I was uh, the, the stuff that I did with my ska band in high school. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most memorable times was uh, when we opened up for, uh, we, we played at the, at, the, uh, at the graffiti with the flow band, with, uh, with 210 and, um, Norris Reed was, was singing with the flow band at the time. It was like, I was probably 17 or whatever. And uh, after the gig, Norris came up to me and he said, hey, man, you sound like the music that I grew up with. And, you know, to, to, for a guy like that from when I was 17, to get to say something like that, man, I was like, I was very humbled and greatly appreciated the, the encouragement he gave me. And then decades later, he came by my house for a rehearsal uh, when, when the when Bay Brothers were playing with, with us. And uh, mm -hmm. same thing, he remembered me from then. And it's just, you know, yeah, I was very humbled by that. Grateful for that. You know? Okay, okay. Sweet. And, uh, and Shay asked, uh, what is the name of one of your songs? And are you on YouTube? Well, we have a we have a number of artists that we that we provide backing samples. 
But uh, I would direct you to uh, Jacquez's song, No Junk Food. Okay. Yeah. And you can find that on YouTube. Sweet. Okay. 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 I'm going to definitely check that out. Definitely check that out. Check that out. Yes, yes. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do you feel social media affects the music business? I think it uh, helps to bring everything together, kind of a, a more personal approach to uh, reach people. You know? So. I think mm -hmm. something that, uh, that before the technology was there, we were always like, wow, man, wish that I could, uh, you know, talk to somebody on my television, you know? And now we've got a television in my pocket. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, yes. I say, I remember the days of, uh, I say, they don't have struggle nowadays. I say, I remember the days of dial-up internet. You had to use the phone, and it would go, you know, make a little AOLs. I, I remember the days of leaving a message at the beach. They might not oh get back to for a week. Oh, my gosh. So that's before what? <laughs> the beeper. That oh, wow. No, no, I mean the answering machine. Oh, with okay. The cassette tapes with the mini cassette tapes. Oh, the cassette tape. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's take it again. I don't know, but I'm like, they don't even, they barely even know about CDs now. And even, <laughs> even before that, even before that, in the days when there was just a notepad. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Okay, I'm just reading it. What's up? What's up, everybody who's in the live? What, what's up? What's up? Yeah, type your comments in the comment section. Type your questions to Rasta Bob from the Truth and Rights Band. We're here with him. And make sure you type those questions in the comments. Yeah, buddy. So, yes. So, um... So you're all you're on all platforms as far as spot okay you're on all streaming platforms truth and rights uh, yeah. okay okay various artists that we that we record with are on are on are on all kinds of different platforms. Different oh different right okay so you do you guys have any upcoming shows? What do you guys? Yeah, what's yeah? Uh, just go ahead and do it. What was that? Novell at the uh, Milton Music Festival. Uh, yeah. May twenty ninth will be at Kaya. Uh, okay. Eleventh will be New Kensington. At the Voodoo Brewery. Mm -hmm. Last Friday every month, we're uh, in Grove and the one. Okay. Come and sit in. You need to come and let vocals if you're here on a Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I sing some, you know, I look, I sing, me, look, I love me some reggae roots. I sing me some Don Penn and some Marcia Griffith and all that. That's. <laughs> I like, you know, that song, Stepping Out of Babylon, just something about it, just, yeah. it's just, doom, 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 that bass line, and it's just so up, it's so upbeat, it just, ah, I love the vibes of it, I love, love the vibes of it, I say, look, and I'll shoot, come and sing, I'll, and I'll come and sing some Bob Marley too, I love me some Redemption song. <laughs> First on July first. Mm-hmm. Or the home, yeah, the high level bridge. Homestead high level bridge. Yeah. Okay, okay. Lowe will be there for Yardy. Meditation. Real good show, 
Oh uh, yeah, def it's definitely gonna be great, y'all. I say, yeah, man, you guys gotta definitely come to that one. It's it it's it's done. the vibes are just beautiful, man. <laughs> I just remember freestyling on the microphone when you guys was playing. <laughs> That's what we love. Yes, I love those type of, I love to jam like that. I just love to jam like that, like the music, man. Something about that music. I see, I hear a nice bass line. I'm going to start singing or flowing or something. Yes, yes. So where are, the, where are some of the places that you that you have been with your band as far as cities and stuff? I've, I've been, you know, out of, you know, out of the city. Oregon mm -hmm. uh, Greensburg, Donaldsville. Uh, we met around the greater Pittsburgh. You know. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. The right. You can come over to West Pennsylvania. Mm hmm. I'll come to you, you know. Yeah, I'll hear that, guys. I say, yeah. If you want to hear some nice reggae roots, I say, you hit up, hit up Rasta Bob. I say, you some, you know, good, good folks. I'll tell you all good folks in that band. Again, she, yeah, I said, I, I got to give a shout out again to, to Lori Willisey, a.k.a. Cookie. I see. I see. He was that one that was on Black is Beautiful. I see. He made it. He basically he made it what it is, man. He made it what it is with that bass line. <laughs> I see. You guys, yeah. Everything down to the bongos I love, man. Everything down to the, to the, to the, to the drums I love. <laughs> My, uh, I, had a, I had a ska band in high school. We used to rehearse down the street from, from the swamp band. And I, mm -hmm. I'd drive past there and play it. But I never got to meet them until, until I was in my, like, you know, and Cookie came mm -hmm. in on a recording session for an African guy I was playing with, Mambu. And uh, that's our parent. He's always been. Down with music, you know, and always yes. with the nation, you know. Yes. You no. Know? Yes. Oh man, he always, yeah. He's always down with the music. Always down. He, he's oh Errol says Errol Joseph says, Yo, Dread, walk one. Yeah. Walk one, how you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, friend, a legendary swamp band. Okay, okay. Those guys really brought reggae to Pittsburgh, you know? Oh. Yeah. They came here. They came here before, yeah, they were the first group of Jamaican players music in Pittsburgh. And I'm sorry, I never got to them, but they've always been legendary to me, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm just, a, I'm just a little too young. I wasn't able to get into the clubs, you know. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if I got some more questions here. Who are some of your yeah? Who are some of your influences as far as musically? Musically. Hey man. Uh, well, let's start off in Ram Man and, and uh and Robbie, of course. And Parks and Leroy Sibbles and Flabba Holt and Floyd Brevin. Okay, and that's that's for the all right. No hardly in there. But the <laughs> There's Desmond Decker, there's Adam Quad, there's Steve Pulse. That was my first real reggae show, Steve Pulse, Black uh, uh, still uh, Linton, John. Too many, too many names to name, really. But then, you got a 
call back Miles Davis. You know? Yeah. Miles Davis all song, you know? Yeah. Hancock. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock. Hey, R.S. One. Yes! <laughs> Rock him. Uh, they go slick. <laughs> you know? And I got to look at the punk rock roots, the, the Chromags, the Bad Brains, Black Flag. Uh, yeah. And, you know, Operation Ivy. Okay. Yeah. And then a lot, a lot of local acts that came up about so, uh, Shape of Red and back in the day called Shape of Red. They're mm -hmm. one of my favorite bands, even still. Metropolis. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. Okay. Um. What advice do you have to upcoming artists? That, Keep it, you know, stay, stay basic. Mm hmm To stay basic. Okay, okay. There are no okay. right notes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So, um, yes. Yeah, All right. So, um, if you could change anything about the industry, what would you change? Um, artists, promoters would be promoted. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't mm -hmm. be a mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you got some good answers here. You giving me some good answers. I said, usually I catch people off guard. <laughs> I say I like to keep. I like to, you know, keep the questions interesting. I think just the same old. You know, the same old thing. That goes back to that, what, which part of being do I not like? That's the part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the promotion. Yeah, that's one of the hardest parts. <laughs> see, one thing, yeah, see, one thing. Oh, go ahead, what you saying? You know? What do you think? Oh, thanks for all the hearts. Yeah, everybody show the love. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. See, people think it's 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 just a simple thing. We just hop on stage and you know it just do the show. No, there's 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 a business aspect behind all this that we got to do. There's a lot of business behind just, you know, you just don't hop on stage, you know. Oh, the homework. Yeah, definitely that. Yes, lots and lots and lots and lots of homework lots of before homework. you even practice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots of rum punch. <laughs> Yes, lots of raw points. I see. Yes, and, and lots of herbals. <laughs> awesome, awesome, man. So, where can people, where can people find you again? Where are your, you know, as far as to book you for a show or to check out your stuff? You can contact, contact us on Facebook. Message, message okay. We're at Shady Grove every Friday night, or the last Friday, on, which is in Shady Grove, okay. 10 p.m. Um, can all find there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
look for our posts on Facebook. Look us up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Those out there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. For the artists that are associated with us, like Ross Maisha, Doc West, Oreo, Cookie, Lloyd Phillips. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, Rasta Bob, I would like to thank you so much for being on my show because you 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 brought a you brought an energy with you, a beautiful energy with you. Thank you, Manny. I really appreciate you having me on your show. I look <laughs> yes, to yes. Oh no, it make me cry over here. I'm a sentimental chick. <laughs> All right, peace and love to you, man. All right, peace. All right. We gonna... oh. All right, everybody. What y'all think about the show now? What y'all think about that? Can I get some hearts in the building? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some love? Give me, come on, come on. Give me some hearts in the building. All right, y'all. Yes, thank you, Michelle. Somebody give me some hearts. Give me that love. Give me all that love. Yes, and all that love, all that love double back to you three times, four times double. Yes. Um, thanks. I want to thank every one of you for watching my show and being my supporters. And yes, make sure to tune in to me. Um, it's on the third because we're gonna be in you're gonna be having an interview. So tune in, stay tuned with me. Peace and love to everybody. Bless up. One love.